yes you're welcome once again to my channel it's your boy Jacob right here bringing you another tutorial um, today we are going to talk about the big ones um, you know I've been talking about only small courses uh, pharma I mean um, nursing clinical medicine lab theater assistance but most people have wanted me to talk about uh, medicine and surgery uh, the big courses you know my content is mostly about uh, people from the grassroots uh, who want to join the medical field and they are looking for which type of courses they want to do people who did it get the right scores in their secondary and they want to get in the medical field i was trying to guide them on which are the best courses which can help them in their career but today we are going to talk about uh, medicine versus pharmacy which is the best course for you which one can you choose uh, for your career especially if you are in secondary or you want to upgrade your career medicine and pharmacy which is the best course now uh, these two courses uh, they are very popular and uh, if you ask any other student in secondary doing senior five senior six uh, who are doing PCM, uh, stroke math, all those people, they will tell you uh, on their list of the courses they want to do at campus or in university, they will tell you medicine or pharmacy. One of those ones. No one puts uh, or nursing or lab as the first choice. Most of all the senior six students, senior five, all the students in secondary, they will tell you on their list, they want to be either doctors or pharmacists. So these are very high caliber uh, courses and you really need to score very well to get into a medical school and also pharmacy. Pharmacy, by the way, they need very high points, more than those points of medicine to get uh, a government sponsorship for pharmacy. So these are very high caliber courses, very competitive and the most popular courses in and out of the country so getting a chance to do them from senior six you must be blessed and you must be very brilliant you need to score high to get into a medical school or a pharmacy school so these courses both of them you need to score high in your secondary uh, to get into these courses now medicine uh you need to go to school medical school for five years and one year of internship we have so many medical schools in the country currently initially it was only Makere and Mbarara but currently we have Gulu we have UCU we have KIU we have Kaba. there are over 10 medical schools in the country so um, getting into them is not as hard as it used to be but you need to be on government sponsorship uh, private to get into a medical school on a private basis your parent needs to be rich because most private universities um, offering medicine currently they demand six to seven million to get into that school so if your parent is poor you don't have enough money you can't do medicine on private medicine on private is damn damn expensive damn damn expensive uh, students pay six seven million you go to ucu here you, you want medicine <laughs> you need to pay seven million per semester and that's a lot of money so if you want to do medicine you need to be on a government scale but if it is private your parents need to have serious money for you to get uh, a vacancy or to study medicine on a private basis even pharmacy for example pharmacy you need uh, four years into the pharmacy school and one year of internship for you to become a pharmacist currently in the country i think we have um, three schools uh, offering that on a degree basis makere and barara and i think kiu those ones can offer you pharmacy at a degree so if you are looking into both of these courses those are the factors you have to consider the schools the availability of income and uh, the points so those three factors will allow you choose the best school for you when it comes to uh, job market 
medicine and pharmacy which one is the best now those two you have to consider them wisely wisely if you are to get into these schools now with medicine uh, there's a lot you can do for it with it after you getting your bachelor's degree in medicine and surgery uh, the specialties are very many uh, you can either do surgery you can do gyne you can do uh, dermatology you can do anesthesia the specialties are endless and the fields are quite very many uh, however much students they get there's a lot you can do with medicine uh, compared with pharmacy Ka pharmacy the specialties are not that very many they are more with with national drug authority they are more with regulation of drugs uh, supervising pharmacies so when you do medicine uh, there's a there's a lot of versatility there's a lot of things you can do with medicine the specialties are quite very many and that also gives you more chances to make money uh, doctors are very popular uh, doctors uh, have a lot of money there's a lot especially when you look at medicine if you are to be an obstetrician a gynecologist the clients in our country are so many women delivering women with complications there are so many they still more need more gynecologists they still need more obstetrician surgery is also very good if you are specialized with it you can make a lot of money uh, nutrition dermatology pediatrics uh, anesthesia there's a lot you can do with medicine and that's why it's very popular and everyone wants to do medicine as students so if you want to look into that direction it's very good for you then pharmacy is more of regulated although they need so high points but uh, you can't do so much apart from regulation and supervising uh, pharmacies uh, so the only unique thing where pharmacists make uh, their money is um, they supervise pharmacies and supervising pharmacies um, in the country they will demand a fee monthly i think each pharmacist is allowed to supervise two pharmacies yeah in the country so if you have like uh, two pharmacies private pharmacies you are supervising and uh, you are allocated to them that's money for you and most people making um, trying to open up pharmacy businesses you need the pharmacist to supervise your family your pharmacy to, uh, to license your pharmacy you need a pharmacist that's where most uh, pharmacists make their money and if this is the direction for you and you don't want so much to be in the medical field uh, like uh, being a doctor you can do pharmacy most of them make their money through supervision of pharmacies uh, they are allowed to supervise two pharmacies that's the maximum and they they really charge a lot of money monthly for them to to be allocated to your pharmacy so that's where they make their money and if you think this is the field for you you can choose to do pharmacy another advantage with pharmacy is you take a shorter period like four years uh, in this school but it's very compact uh, very complicated as well a difficult course so you need to be very serious but it's also very rewarding and in that there are not so many pharmacy schools the pharmacists are not that very many so which also puts them on market uh, more than the medical doctors who are now so many in the country pharmacists are not so many and the fact that there are few their demand in the country is very high and also the people who are looking for them to supervise their pharmacies are quite very many and which hikes up their fee so you have to look at both of these uh, parameters if you are to choose uh, between medicine and surgery i mean in my case if you are looking at being popular in the country being a well-known doctor being a consultant you want to be with people you want to deal with people of different uh, illnesses uh, you can choose medicine but if you are so much into uh, drug administration supervision of pharmacies you want something shorter you can choose a pharmacy so it all depends on what you want everything depends on what you want if pharmacy is the thing for you you want to supervise pharmacies you want to earn through uh, being uh, with um, 
earn money from pharmacies, supervising pharmacies, dealing with the National Drug Authority. You can choose pharmacy. If you want more to do with patients, you want to be a well-known doctor on the country, a well-known obstetrician or surgeon or pediatrician, you want to add diverse, do all those super specialized fields, uh, medicine is for you. So you have to consider some of those factors if you are to choose any of these courses. But I warn you, all those who want to do medicine or the private basis, you need to really have serious money. I've seen students uh, who are upgrading from clinical medicine and they want to do like medicine at KIU and they want to do medicine at UCU. Uh, they struggle with fees because the fees are very high. Now, someone collects like 30 million, goes into the medical school. Within a third year, they drop out because the fees are very high. So you need to really have enough money if you are to attack and do medicine at a private basis. Don't have just like 12 million, 20 million or 25 million and you think you will do medicine. No, medicine is demanding. They need their money on a private basis. So if you can't struggle to get it on government, you need to have enough money for you to go for medicine on a private spaces because the school fees is quite, quite very high. The minimum for the cheap school on a private is I think 6 million, but most of them are between 6 to 7 million and you need to have enough money for you to go for medicine. If you don't have enough money, there are also other professions which you can do on a degree basis. So that's my thought on medicine and surgery. If you want more content, you can also make your research, but that's all I can give you when it comes to comparing uh, medicine and pharmacy.